So I do think it's really important that we have a European perspective and a European approach on these key questions about cybersecurity. And I think that's true for the questions about the integrity of our underlying critical digital infrastructure. And I think it's true for the work that we're doing to try and, include, try and increase our cybersecurity, to make ourselves more resilient, to try and deter people from attacking and interfering with us, and promoting international cooperation. So from a European perspective, I think we have to start from our commitment to uh, keeping markets uh, open and trade fair. So we don't uh, immediately, from a European perspective, think about uh, protectionist measures. Uh, but we also have some fundamental values that we need to, to protect. Uh, the fundamental core values of our societies, including uh, the freedom of expression and the respect for others. So those are some of the key considerations that I think we need to use to shape our approach. So on questions of our underlying core digital infrastructure, I think we have to look at the vulnerabilities and the risks and then work out what we want to do from a European perspective to try and mitigate those risks and guard against those vulnerabilities. And when it comes to uh, cybersecurity, we should be looking at ways of agreeing what we're going to do together at a European level, what we want to do with the member states to help and support them in areas that are particularly important to them. And in all of these areas, including the fight against uh, disinformation and cyber-enabled interference, how we're going to respect those fundamental values, including freedom of choice, freedom of expression, etc., uh, and not take measures that undercut those values. So on all of these cybersecurity issues, I think it's absolutely essential that we have the closest possible cooperation between uh, public authorities and the private sector with engagement of civil society as well. And in a European <coughs> context, uh, there are also questions of how we organize ourselves collectively together, maybe uh, Brussels, uh, and how we work with the member states to promote action in the member states and indeed in some countries also at, at local level you have a responsibility as well. So bringing together those different uh, interests, those different stakeholders is absolutely key to defining effective policy. Uh, and as I've said on other occasions but I'll say again, uh, in defining those policies and in pursuing those policies we have to show that for cyber security, as for other security policies, the most effective security policies are firmly rooted in respect for our core fundamental values. So getting that right and showing that you're getting that right will keep people on side and will make for more effective security policy making.